everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's Friday. Not everyone has the weekend off, but I hope everyone does have a safe and prosperous and blessed weekend. Always be prepared for a disaster. Iran is still saying they're going to retaliate against Israel. And Israel is saying that they will deploy the Samson project or whatever if Iran does attack Israel and that's the use of nuclear weapons so always be prepared but on to the earthquakes that have been happening there in New Jersey USGS has begun a seismic sensor deployment in an effort to capture aftershocks data following the magnitude 2.8 earthquake that rattled New Jersey on April 5th it was felt for hundreds of miles there was lots of damage broken water lines broken gas lines Several houses slid off their foundations. USGS is deploying eight aftershock kits this week, which will gather information such as where the aftershocks originated in the area. I guess they want to pinpoint it more. This is being performed in cooperation with partners at the Lamont Doherty Earth Observation at Columbia University. The Texas Seismological Network at the University of Texas in Austin, Rutgers University, and the Yale University, um, they are also deploying seismic sensors. So there might be more than eight. So far, the USGS has recorded 52 aftershocks ranging from a magnitude 1.3 to a 3.8 following the April 5th earthquake. In the coming week, the USGS forecasts that there is a 12% chance of a magnitude 3 or greater aftershock and a 1% chance of a magnitude 4 or greater. Here's an image of all those earthquakes that USGS is reporting. Yeah, anything less than a 1.3, I guess they're not reporting. Um, you can see we got 52. Nothing reported so far today. The last one was yesterday, a magnitude 1.7. That was 3.2 miles in depth. And a 1.9, that was 4.7 miles in depth. Some of the larger earthquakes, there was a magnitude 3.7. That was 4.4 miles in depth. A 2.5, that was 5.6 miles in depth. And a magnitude 2.2. That was 2.6 miles in depth. What's real interesting about these smaller earthquakes is that a lot of people are reporting that they're feeling them. Example, here's that 1.7, the last one that they reported. Um, 22 people said they felt that earthquake. Intensity level 3, which is rather surprising for Brooklyn. Uh, there was one response there. And then we also got Astoria. Intensity level 2. Um, New York, two reports from there. Intensity level 2. And then as far south as Hoxton, um, it says Wilmington down over here. And then we got Philadelphia, uh, Merchantville, intensity level 2. And Jackson intensity level 2 this is very unusual because these are low magnitude earthquakes and generally most people don't feel earthquakes unless they're a magnitude 2.5 I have been covering this area for since the day the earthquake occurred and talked about how this is the new Newark Basin area how this area is um, the result of an ancient failed fault zone and I also co um, covered ancient volcanoes and there is a cinder cone or a plug of an ancient volcano. This area, uh, because it was going to be ripped apart and it started to do that. So there is a lot of fill and so once the seismic wave hits the bedrock, it really um, transmit all the way over to the east coast. Over here is that volcanic plug right there from that ancient volcano. Let's zoom into it using Google Earth. We'll look at it. Yeah, we got a school over here. Uh, drawn out in purple is the uh, 
let me bring this out that's the location but also drawn out in purple is the uh, Wa Chung Mountains which was formed because of volcanic eruptions yeah it actually extends way up north I don't have it completely drawn out but yeah these are lots of lava fields of basalt from um, when the rift was working doing its work yeah the volcanoes erupted and spilled out lots of basalt volcanic material so maybe they're going to do some more research on that failed rift system whatever information they do gleam from these new monitors that they're going to put in we probably won't know the results for at least a year USGS research geologist Jessica Thomas Job after the initial first earthquake held a press conference she said that while there are no active faults in that area there are dozens of older inactive faults that formed millions of years ago under current stresses of tectonic plate moving those faults can be reactivated Job said and I've talked about this yeah in a lot of my earthquake videos I've talked about how uh, because of the earth magnetic field getting weaker and weaker the uh, plates are starting to move and we're seeing more and more earthquakes larger and larger earthquakes in diverse places places where they haven't happened in eons one being the New Madrid fault zone the rock in this area um, is older rock and which means that the fault zones had a long time to heal and that stress when they do decide to pop will be large earthquakes so maybe they'll find more information about the Newark rift zone what are your thoughts put your comments down below have you been feeling these smaller earthquakes that USGS is not reporting yeah let us know put those comments down below many of us in the community really enjoy reading what you experienced thank you for watching please like share and make sure you're still subscribed as always be safe be prepared and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye